Right, that's enough of that, I think. Hello, everybody, and happy new year. What the hell? We are now. I'm going to take these off because it looks so silly. What the hell? We are in 2018. I'm going to lower this camera a bit because it looks a bit silly. That's better. We are in 2018. Like, where did that time go? Like, 2017 is over. Like, that's weird. So much for me happened in 2017, good and definitely bad. So I just thought I'd do an honest video of the stuff that actually went down and never got talked about, got swept under the, under, the, under the covers, under the carpet, and stuff that really, like, amazing stuff happened that I can watch this video back and remember in a couple of years' time. I also have so much planned for 2018. 2018 is going to be such a good year, year for me. It's going to be my year. I'm going to make it my year. So I just thought, well, come here and make a video about it. Because it's not... I know people are, definitely want this to go up. I've been getting messages about people wanting to see my honest um, review on this year. But also, I really am going to look forward to having to look back on this when I'm older, if that makes sense. Anyway, so... I have had some amazing, amazing, amazing opportunities, mostly thanks to my mum. And although I am really excited to say goodbye to this year and just kiss its ass goodbye, I have to remember all the amazing things I've done and not just focus on the negatives. So I, the, I think the one, the thing that stands out the most for me this year is probably um, going to Thailand. I got to visit three different places in Thailand, which was insane. And I never got to upload the video of um, the travel vlog I did um, because it all the editing went really badly and it just got brushed under the carpet. That was an amazing opportunity. I will always look back on that because it was such a family moment and yeah, it was just a really good holiday. Another thing was for maybe my 17th birthday, I went up to London and it was really fun. Um, got my favourite pair of shoes in the whole wide world, I got my pink Converse. But I don't, like, though I've had exams, I've got an A in my dance exam, I've got merit in my, um, in my other dance exam. Like, I did quite well for myself in that way. I went on a couple of holidays in the summer, they were really fun. So my trip with my mum to Rome was pretty special. But I also had the worst year I have had in a very long time. Because as you probably know, because a lot of my viewers are people that I personally know, I went through a horrible breakup this year. It was horrible. I it took me, the only good thing that I 100% take, take out of it is it has taught me so much about people and about your actions. And I will take that in 2018 and I will be able to become a better person from that. It took me, it's now the fourth month of us being over and it's taken me four months to get over it. I'm now over it, but I'm so proud and happy with myself that it's taken me four months if it took me any less I really think that would have proved to myself that I didn't love him it's been if it's taken me two weeks to get over this person I didn't love them and it didn't and that's what I think is really good that it took me a long time because it has really showed me that it was genuine feelings I had if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense but but it was a horrible break up like it didn't go how a nice a breakup should go when you've been with someone for over a year and when you were honestly they were like your best friend like that is the worst way to break up someone it being like so messed it was just messy it was so messy I wish them all the best I wish them all the happiness because they are a really nice person like they were they aren't now to me but they were a really nice person I know what they're actually like obviously now I don't I don't want any contact at all. Completely blocked all contact. I think that's for the best, 100%. I am very happy with the place I'm at right now. And yeah, things, good things come out of situations. Everything happens for a reason. Everything. And I've always told myself, if me, me and him were meant, I'm not going to name names, but you probably know who it is. If me and him were meant to be, then we would be together still. And it wasn't obviously meant to be. But anyway, 
from that, that's done, wipe that away. But um, obviously 2017, it came to an end and I thought this is the time, this is my chance to now clear the slate and don't let any of those thoughts I had in 2017 come in 2018, they're not invited to 2018. So clearing the plate, clearing him off my Instagram, clearing him off my Snapchat, finding someone new has been the best therapeutic, <laughs> like I just, I am so healthy now and 2018 is going to be a very good year. And to me this year obviously I had I didn't, I failed an exam, which I really didn't want to fail. Any bad things that have happened this year, but I have learned so much from stuff that's happened that is only going to make me a better person. And my mum did say to me, it only gets better. It only can get better. If you've had such a rubbish year, surely 2018 can only get better. And it's not just going to happen. You need to, you need to do it yourself. You need to build up yourself. You need to take opportunities. You need to... Oh my god, what's going in my eye? Uh, do it yourself. You can't just rely on luck and fate. You've got to make your year good and better than the year before with strength and determinism. Um, if you also, if you didn't know me very well, you probably actually, not a lot of people know this, but I am obsessed with horoscopes. Like, I am obsessed, I am obsessed with my horoscope. I'm actually wearing my horoscope necklace today. <laughs> but um, I, I follow the sun and I follow an app I have which is, um, I don't know what it's called actually, and I follow Instagram accounts. And my one today said something on the long, along the lines of, you will be determined this year and you will set targets for yourself and you will really push yourself to be the best you can be. And then at the end, which was really weird, at the end it was like, so you do work, social and like love at the end and the love thing was like um a single j so like a boy's name beginning with j will come into your life and it will be a new relationship and i'm just saying i'm not spilling it all on bloody bloody youtube but that is right you i felt like horoscopes people say oh no i don't um i don't think they're true they're a bit like they're a load of rubbish and a load of bollocks okay Maybe they're not true, but use them as a guidance to aspire. For example, I had one the other day that said, um, you'll be really hard working. And for like three days straight, I was like, I've got to do this horoscope. And my, like, unconsciously I was telling, I was doing it because my horoscope had told me I'd be like that. Does that make sense? I don't know. 2018 is going to be a much better year 2017. I have got South Africa, I am going to next month. I've got my birthday in three months, my 18th. I'm having a big party, I'm so excited. Starting to get planned already. Um, I've got my uni um, application all done and I've heard back from uni, so that is happening in March when I send off all my choice and actually decide where I'm going. And then I'm going to start revising. Well, I'm starting revising before that. But then I have my A-level exams, which I am quite nervous for. But there's always something bad that happens in a year. And then I've got my summer holidays. And I'm really excited for my summer holidays. They're going to be really good. I finish school. I leave vlogs forever, which is very sad. And then I go off to uni. I go off to uni. And then this time next year... I might be sitting here doing another one of these videos, but I'll be 18 and then I'm just so, I'll be coming on to, oh my God, next year I'll be coming on to 19. That's crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to sit here and just get everything off my chest, leave it all in 2017, put this video up, leave this video up, just tell you everything that happened in 2017 so we're not left with that awkward, open, open questions and... I don't know, but next year I also have, I have a few resolutions, so one, leave the past, leave what happened in 2017 in 2017, two, become more stronger, it's a very, that's a very wide thing, it can literally mean get stronger as in going to the gym and also get mentally stronger, um, no like this 100% thing, oh sorry I was swearing, 
only put 100% into someone if they're putting 100% back into you. That is one thing I've really learned this year. And I'm going to stop trying with people that aren't trying with me next year. And go to church more. I started going to church in December and I really enjoyed it. So hopefully I'm going to start go be going more and more on Sundays. And maybe even join a youth group or join a church. Just join church. But I'm happy I made this video. I feel really happy about this video. So 2017 was a breakups, makeups, holidays, exams and a kiss on the arse goodbye. So 2018 has got much better things lined up and I'm so excited. I hope you all had a really good New Year's Eve and you partied like a living firework and you have set yourself some resolutions because I think it is really important to set yourself some resolutions even if you don't properly stick to them. You're going into a year as it's a fresh year, you know, like it's not just an ordinary day today. Today is the first day of a new start, if that makes sense. So set yourself some resolutions, even if they're tiny, like tidy my room every day, you still feel more positive that you're gonna be more, I don't know, you're gonna be doing more with yourself. Don't let this year go to waste. Do what makes you happy. Just say yes, that is my biggest motto in life, just say yes. If an opportunity comes up, just say yes, dive in the deep end. I always say to people, just dive in the deep end, just do it and see if it turns out. If it doesn't turn out right, you've learned something. If it turns out good, you've got an amazing experience from it. It's a win-win situation. Anyway, please give this video a thumbs up, like smash a thumbs up. You guys have been giving such good thumbs up at the moment. Leave a comment on what you if you, what you thought about this video. If you thought I was, if I should do stuff in 2018, I should have done in 2017. Or leave your resolutions below. Or just DM me them too. I love talking to people. Like I love like engaging and talking to you guys. Subscribe if you're new so you can see lots of videos in 2018. Maybe even let me know some stuff you would like to see in 2018. And I will see you very soon with another video. Good boy. Oh, peace out 2017. <laughs>